Then there is the televised mental institution known as MSNBC, and they have this certified lunatic, I mean, a racist, crazy woman who does a show in the middle of the day, I think, uh, Joy Reid, and uh, she just wants you to know that, uh, you know, Republicans, they love death. Definitely not online, where anger and alienation and fear just feast on places like 4chan and 8chan. And they know it. And Rupert Murdoch's marionettes are pulling those themes right onto their primetime shows. Republicans have literally made bringing Trump and his dangerous paranoid style back onto Twitter into a political rallying cry. And okay, set aside ideological or emotional safety. We're not allowed to feel physically safe anywhere in America. Thanks to Republicans' ironclad partnership with the blood-soaked NRA, which long ago quit the gun safety business and has been working for decades to ensure that the most lethal arms get into as many alienated 18 and 19-year-old incel hands as possible so that we can't feel safe at Walmart, at the supermarket, at Bible study or church service, at the salon, at the hospital, if God forbid some guy gets mad at his doctor for not giving him opioids, at a nightclub, at a concert, even at a funeral, or at school, whether you're in high school or you're 10 and in the fourth grade. In America, and only in America, you are literally rolling the dice every time you leave your house or drop off your kids at school. And you just have to pray that today is not your day or their day to meet that angry, alienated American man with an AR-15. This weekend alone, we had a greater number of mass shooting deaths in the U.S. than last week's three-day weekend, when last week's three-day weekend, when 17 were killed and more than 70 were injured in mass shootings across the country. Today, multiple Democratic members of Congress attended a rally student activists held at the Capitol to call for action. Meanwhile, the other political party refuses to do anything to solve the problem of gun violence. And don't let anybody tell you that we couldn't solve it. That is just not true. But Republicans want you to just get used to feeling this way, unsafe, everywhere, all the time. Maybe in exchange for a few tax cuts that honestly don't get to you anyway, because they're really for rich people. Or so you can say, ha, I don't have to use the pronouns, victory. Also that they can have more power, which by the way, they're gonna use to give more rich people more stuff. And to take more stuff from regular people like you, while you hold your breath every time you go to a store or drop off your kids at school. That's the bargain. Are you okay with that? You see what they do? Imagine the mental state you'd have to be in if you watch that channel all day long. The endless psychotic fear that keeps you watching. Uh, also, it's not literally roll the dice unless people are literally playing craps all day long, lady. It's metaphorically roll the dice. I use the little word literally, liberally sometimes myself, but that's just an aside. But if you're watching that and you're listening to her and then you walk outside, you think you're going to be shot. You go to the hair salon and you think you're going to be shot. You go to the hospital and you think you're going to be shot. Strangely, I'm guessing that uh, Joy Reid... Uh, I'm willing to make a $10 bet on this one. Uh, there was a crazy stabbing at the Encino Hospital, which is where I used to live in Los Angeles a couple days ago. A crazy person just bust into the hospital and stabbed a couple nurses and doctors. Um, I'm guessing she didn't cover that. Now, it didn't have the weapon of choice and it happened in Cali and she wouldn't want people to think bad things are happening in Cali because it's got all sorts of uh, laws around to people doing bad things. Um, but these people, their hypocrisy is off the charts. And also the idea that the NRA, now you, again, we can all have an honest assessment and disagreement about some of the things related to guns, okay? And whether it should be uh, 18 to buy a gun or 21 to buy a gun or why you'd be able to say buy a gun at a certain age, but you still can't vote or, or buy a beer, et cetera, et cetera. There's legitimate stuff to talk about but they want you to constantly be in fear and they also wanna constantly attack the organizations that are defending our right to defend ourselves, right? Uh, governments should not, uh, people should not fear their governments. Governments should fear their people. If you haven't seen V for Vendetta in a while, I highly recommend it. Um, and that is what they are trying to take away from us. The NRA, how many of the mass shooters were NRA members? I'm gonna guess it's zero. I'd love to be fact-checked on this. We can try it real time if you want. How many mass shooters in the United States were members of the NRA? I would bet you it is zero. The NRA takes their job very seriously. You may not like some of the things they, they, they do. I don't need to make this about the NRA. And I'm not gonna sit here defending every, every policy decision that they've done. But the point is there are all sorts of organizations that help good people learn about what their rights are, good people learn about 
uh, weapon safety, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, this attack, this idea that the Republicans just want to work with the NRA and they want blood soaked people and they want you to be freaking out when you're going to the YMCA or when you're going to Chipotle, it ain't true. Oh, and thank you for chat fact checking me live. We love that. From Quora.com, uh, zero mass shooters were registered uh, NRA members. So chalk one up for me.